Well, we are on our way. It is me <laughs> and little Ava, and we're on our way to Kingston. So, um, we're ready to be there. We are already 15 minutes into our drive. Uh, we left at 1030. We only have an hour drive. Unlike some of you guys, I know you guys have long drives. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've only got an hour drive, but we are ready to go. She's got her a snack over here. She's eating her some chips and she had a corn dog. I'm eating these. She's eating those twisty chips. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, flavor twist. She's having those and um, I've had a couple. I'm going to stop at, I think, Sonic in Kingston and grab me something to eat before we get there. Um, but I thought I heard Daniel say that they were serving hot dogs, chips, and also taking donations. Um, I want everybody to be sure and uh, give something today if you can. It has been a lot for Leon to put this on, and I know he's had to pay for some uh, portable restrooms. Give a donation, help out with that so it doesn't cost anything, and then maybe we can do some more of these meetups. Let me show you the back of my pickup. I've got a load of six different containers that I can get more potting soil in today. So, we are going to do that. <laughs> we have our lawn chairs oh, that's and cool. we are ready to go. I hope that... This trip looks like a seven. It sure does. Okay. But we are on the way and um, we got another 25 minutes or 30 minutes and we'll be there. We'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. Bye. Guess where we are? We are the only stoplight in Kingston. For us, we have to make a left here, and we are at Leon's greenhouse. So we're super excited. We Yay. can't wait. Oh my goodness, look at all of this going on. Ready to be here and get our day started. Look at this. There is people go. everywhere. Go. Yay. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, there's Leon. Huh. I see him. He's on the go-kart there. What go-kart? There's thousands of go-karts. There's Leon on this one. Here we are waiting on the pile to get some, some potting soil. Here is the huge pile that Leon has. And we have six buckets in the back of our truck. And we are going to get ours loaded up next. Here goes my load. Perfect. He knows just what he's doing. I think he's gonna get me a little bit more. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Whatever fell in is fine. That didn't take long. Those couple of guys were a really big help. Got the lids on and now we're going on to the next thing. Go see if we can go down here and see what else we can get into. In Kingston, Oklahoma. Can I see that? Uh, it's <laughs> his raffle for his scholarship fund at three o'clock. So if we draw your name, um, we'll give you a phone call if you're over at the greenhouses or somewhere else. If you're not here, don't worry about it. We'll get your prize to you. So, got a whole bag of old lot flashlights, a power box, a bunch of survival tactical gear, um, hospitals, and a bunch of stuff. So, we got a lot of cool little prizes. So, guys, thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. Um, this just means a lot to us. And if you've, you've taken time out of your life to be here for us, so, anyways, thank you. Uh, let's see what we need to take care of next. Uh, 
Okay, now if you haven't signed up for this Arctic Cat, it's $50 for one ticket. We're only going to sell 100 tickets. I think we still have a few tickets left, so if any of you want to get on it, uh, we're going to sell 100 tickets. Goes in on this Arctic Cat, and uh, when, it, when it gets it, if you don't want the cat, if you're not here, if it's somebody in Florida or something, we're going to have an auction right after we draw. We're going to call that number that's on that ticket. And if they don't want to come get it, and they want us to auction it, then we'll auction it off to the highest bidder here today. So we'll, we'll know more about it when we get to that 3 o'clock appointment. Uh, Daniel, why don't you get you some uh, things to give away. Let me introduce my family. But if you do want that, come up to the front. We're going to fight for it. No, it's fine. <laughs> Ava, come here and stand with me. If you want, if you want a whole quail set up, I got eggs too that are fertilized. So the cage can come apart, fold up, and put it. I got the little quail. He's going to get it right now in the little thing I made. Should we stand up there? You're going to have to help them. That feeder and water. This, if, you, if you guys, what's going on, Carter Rosa? Hey, uh, if you guys have seen my videos, this is the exact same cage and setup I got in my little uh, shed. I got them out of the barn or the garage because my wife kind of getting mad at me for it. So, everyone, you guys want these? Okay, split up into twos. In twos. Coach can't do anything. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It don't matter. Just split in twos. All you gotta do is you can't be from the same same family. We just need one person from each family. Me? Yeah, you don't want to go to the same house. Same house. Here you go. Is everyone into twos? Okay, now face each other. Okay, can you do this? Rock paper scissors. And we'll probably announce that in December over at Noble Research when we have that. Uh, gardening deal over there, so we'll see how big we can raise. I don't know, I've been thinking about slipping over to Hope, Arkansas and seeing what I can do over there to see how big one I can raise. But anyway, we got a challenge going on. Okay, where's our young folks now? Come up right up here. And stand people are not raising food anymore. I know there's people, there's farmers that's raising a lot of soybeans and wheat and stuff like that. I'm talking about the fresh food that we eat. Right now, I am buying watermelons for $10.50. Just a fresh watermelon, $10.50 wholesale. We're trailing them for $12.95. I hate to even ask people that, but we got to pay hauling on them and pay the employees and everything. So that's side the point. But I mean, price is already going. Whitney, where are you from? Greenville. Greenville, Texas, I'd say. Is that right? Let's give him a hand. Let's give Whitney a hand, okay? All right. My name is Ava McHurt, and I'm from Oklahoma. We're about to in Oklahoma. Uh, Bennington. Bennington. Okay, Bennington, Oklahoma. Let's give her a hand, okay? Come here, Sugar. Come up here just a minute. Let's have your name. Natalia. Where are you from, Sugar? Um, Houston. Houston, Texas. Isn't that cute? Let's give her a hand, okay? All right. Come here, Sugar. Let's come right up here. Okay. What's your name? Allison. Okay, where are you from? Bristol. Wichita Falls? Oh, Bristol, Oklahoma. Bristol, Oklahoma. Let's give him a hand, okay? All right. Come here. My name is Chase. I'm from Bristol, Oklahoma. You're from where? Bristol, Oklahoma. Bristol, Oklahoma. Okay, give him a hand. All right, we got two more. Come right up here. Let's let ladies go first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? My name is Luna and is it where we get born? Stroud, Oklahoma. Okay. Let's get a hand. 
My name is Mason, and I'm from Bristol, Oklahoma. That was from Bristol, Oklahoma. All right, well, I'm looking forward to see what they do this year. Uh, I didn't ask them what they were going to do. I better not. Just let them see what they're going to do anyway. But anyway, it doesn't make any difference if they raise chickens or if they raise quail, if they garden, uh, if they do some hunting. It doesn't make any difference. You have pictures of it. Let's see. Let's, let's teach these young people how to feed us, okay? Let's give them all a big hand. Get them back down on, on the platform. Somebody hit them off and keep them safe. Hey you guys, we're out here in Kingston at Leon's Greenhouses with the meet and greet today. And this is my daughter Ava, and this is Houston. So we've got to meet Houston. Houston is nice to meet you today. Are you having a good time out here? Are you Houston's sister? Hi, my name's Jeannie. What's your name? Emily. I've seen, oh, I've seen her a couple of times on the chart too. I just want to say hi to you guys. It's nice to meet you. Hi, you. According to Bill. Uh-huh. I'm just concentrating on my brother. In November, I ordered 10,000 worms for a 20 by 120 hoop house. And I put in one foot of wood shavings, the real thin stuff like they use in a, a horse barns, and uh, probably this guy in the <laughs> Folks, if you're interested in, uh, are you doing worms first, Floyd? Hold your hand up. It's Floyd Carter. He's going inside. And he's going to talk about raising worms. He's going to show you.